Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to sensors and transducers. So in this video we are going to discuss another temperature sensor uh, which will be based on expansion of fluids. So fluid expansion systems that based temperature sensor we'll discuss. Okay. So we all know that uh, all uh, matter, solid, liquid, gases, they expand on heating, okay? So for solids, we have different coefficients, uh, linear, surface and volume in one, two and three dimension. And for liquids and gases, we have uh, the same uh, concepts, that is, uh, when they're exposed to increasing temperature on heating they expand okay we have uh, if we are familiar with the concepts related to thermodynamics thermal properties of matter just a basic principle uh, that is utilized in this case so such temperature measuring devices or thermometers which are based on expansion of liquids and gases they are very popular and they, are, they have been used for quite a long period of time. So the basic design, the basic uh, construction of such a system is that it consists of a container consisting of the particular fluid or uh, liquid or gas. In this case, I have shown mercury. There are other choices as well. And it is uh, encapsulated in a glass bulb and for industrial purposes steel bulb is used in that case the fluid is also different then it is connected to a pressure transducer or a force transducer such as Borden tube we can use bellows we can use diaphragms we can use any other thing any other force or pressure transducer by a capillary tube it is connected to the measuring end of the force or pressure transducer and then that force or pressure transducer it converts the movement or the deflection through a pointer scale arrangement so what happens this system is placed in the environment the surroundings where the temperature is to be measured and as a result of uh, that, the fluid which is uh, inside the encapsulation, inside the bulb, it expands and the, that leads to a uh, rise in pressure which is communicated to this free, uh, this uh, measuring end of the Borden tube via the capillary tube and as a result of that difference of pressure, the free end of the Borden tube it deflects which is the basic principle operating principle of Borden tube and that leads to movement of the pointer now I've already discussed about Borden tube in separate video you can check the sensors and transducers playlist there I have explained in detail about the construction and working principle of Borden tube so here I will not go into that because it will unnecessarily you know uh, drag this whole thing so because of the expansion of the fluid there is a increase in pressure which is uh, passed on to this measuring end of the Borden tube through the capillary tube connected from here to here and then as a result of this pressure generated by the expansion of uh, mercury or whatever fluid it is there that leads to deformation or movement of this free end of the Borden tube and that causes movement of the pointer in the scale which gives us a direct relationship between the temperature change and the uh, movement of the pointer scale so here temperature change is converted to pressure change pressure change is converted to linear displacement or, or angular displacement through use of this first which is the primary transducer which is the uh, mercury encapsulated in glass bulb and then the secondary transducer which is a displacement transducer which is a Borden tube. Now here another 
sink can also be done this free end of the Borden tube can be connected to uh, a secondary electrical transducer electrical displacement transducer such as LVDT or potentiometer or any capacitive inductive transducer which gives us a direct voltage or current output I have already discussed about capacitive sensors inductive sensors resistive sensors LVDT I have already discussed about that so here this can be this movable end of the Borden tube can be connected to that then we'll get a very uh, you know appropriate usable electrical output in terms of voltage or current it can be passed through further signal conditioning circuitry amplification filtering uh, signal uh, impedance matching all the linearization all those things can be done and then we can get a direct readout from the display so this is the whole principle of temperature measurement using fluid expansion system so the various choices that we have for uh, this uh, fluid that depends on the range of temperature that we want to measure okay for example here uh, for the liquid and steel bulb type uh, thermometer which is the industrial thermometer here this whole encapsulation is made up of steel so for that if we have mercury as the liquid the sensing liquid the range of temperature is from minus 40 degrees Celsius to plus 650 degrees Celsius if you are using the same encapsulation but the liquid is different xylene then it will be from minus 40 degrees Celsius to 400 degrees Celsius liquid in glass bulb type here for alcohol as the sensing liquid here the range is from minus 80 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius for toluene it is from minus 80 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius then for vapor pressure type thermometers uh, for water as the sensing liquid plus 120 degrees Celsius to 220 for ethyl chloride it is plus 30 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius and for sulfur dioxide is for it is from plus 30 to plus 120 degrees Celsius so depending on the choice of the fluid that is used as the you know sensing thing here which expands on heating different you know temperature ranges within that we can measure it okay so there are two things that we can change the encapsulation which can be glass type or steel bulb type glass is used for low temperature applications steel type they're used for high temperature applications for industrial applications secondly is the fluid that we are using the expand the fluid that will expand and will cause an increase in pressure which will be communicated to this displacement transducer so these two things these two uh, factors we can control okay so this is the basic principle of uh, temperature measurement with the help of fluid expansion systems okay so basic uh, utilization of the thermal properties of matter that is used fluids liquids and gases expansion of liquids and gases that property is utilized here so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much